Hello everyone. In today's class, we are going to be solve the third problem here. Find the slope of a straight line passing through the points 1 comma 2 and 3 comma 4. Let's try to solve the problem. The slope of the straight line which is given by m equals to y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 this is the formula to find out the slope of the straight line where x1 comma y1 is 1 comma 2 and x2 comma y2 is 3 comma 4 now the value of y1 as well as x1 y1 we can substitute in the formula here. Here we can substitute the value of x1, y1, x2, y2 in the formula. Let's try to simplify the problem here. 4 minus 2 divided by 3 minus 1, which gives 2 by here we can cancel out which gives 1 so therefore slope of the straight line is 1 next problem if the x intercepts of the line is 3 units and y intercepts is 2 times x intercepts define the equation of the line so in this question we need to be find out the what is the value of x what is the value of y and what is the value of slopes then only we can able to find out the equation of the straight line here where x is here Let's try to find out the whatever the given data in the question where x is 3, y is 2 times of x, 2 times of x here. So y value is 6 here as well as where slope of the line which is m equals to 1 as it is mentioned in the question itself we know that y minus y1 where this is x1 this is y1 equals to m into x minus x1 so from here from this equation we know that the equation of the line is given by y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1 so from the above we can substitute the value of x1 as well as y1 in the equation 1 here y minus 6 m value is 1 x minus 3 so after simplification we will get your x minus y plus 3 which is our final equation of the line here let's try to solve another problem here if a straight line makes an angle of an inclination of 
60 degree with respect to positive x axis and passes through the point 1 comma minus 1 then find the equation of the straight line first of all we will try to find out the whatever the given data in the given question itself where if a straight line makes an angle of inclination in the question itself it see angle of inclination here where m equals to we know that m equals to the slope of the line m is nothing but tan theta here where theta value already mentioned 60 degree m equals to tan tan 60 degree so the value of tan 60 is root 3 we got the value of m and somehow with respect to positive x axis and passes through the point 1 comma minus 1 so here x1 comma my y1 equals to 1 comma minus 1 already it is mentioned in the question itself we need to find out the equation of the straight line we know that to calculate the equation of the to find out the equation of the equation of the straight line is given by the equation y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1 now let's try to substitute the value of y1 as well as x1 in the equation 1 i can see y minus minus 1 where m is nothing but here root 3 x minus x1 value is here again 1 so after simplification we will get y plus 1 because minus into minus plus root 3 into x minus 1 so y plus 1 so we need to multiply inside also root 3 into x minus root 3 so here uh, for the simplification which gives the root 3x minus y minus root 3 minus 1 equals to 0 so root 3 x minus y minus i can take outside as a common so root 3 plus 1 equals to 0 so this is our final equation of the line next problem find the equation of a straight line parallel to the line joining the points 3 comma minus 1 and 4 comma minus 2 and passing through the points 2 comma 2 solution given data we know that from the above equation uh, question x1 y1 as well as x2 y2 value already they have given in the question itself 3 comma minus 1 as well as 4 comma minus 2 so first of all we need to find out the slope of the given line slope of the given line slope of the given line can be defined as the difference in y coordinate divided by difference in x coordinate here y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus 
x1 here. So we know that the value of y2 minus y1 we can substitute here minus 2 plus 1 divided by 4 minus 3 here. So minus 1 divided by 1 which gives minus 1. So slope of the given line is minus 1. Where minus 1 is nothing but slope of the given line. So we need to find out the equation of the straight line. Again x3 y3 which is given as 2 comma 2. We know that the equation of the straight line which is given by equation of the straight line. which is given by y minus y3 equals to m into x minus x3. We can substitute the value of x3 as well as y3 in the given equation here. Let's try to substitute the value and find out the equation of the straight line y minus 2 equals to minus 1 into x minus 2 y minus 2 equals to minus x minus into minus plus 2 so here x plus y minus 4 equals to 0 after simplification, we will get the equation of the straight line. So, this is the equation of the straight line here. Let us try to solve the another problem here. Fourth A, write the slope and x intercept of a line 2x plus 4y plus 5 equals to 0. Solution given data 2x plus 4y plus 5 equals to 0. Here we need to find out the value of m as well as the value of c here. We know that the general equation which is given by y equals to mx plus c. First of all, we need to be, let us consider equation 1, equation 2. We need to convert equation 1 in the form of equation 2 here. So, 2x plus 4y plus 5 equals to 0. So, this can be rewritten as 4y equals to minus 2x minus 5 or it can be written as y equals to minus 2x divided by 4 minus 5 by 4 here. So, 2 ones are 2 two ones are. So, which gives y equals to minus 1 by 2 minus 5 by 4 here. Let me consider equation 3 here. Now by comparing equation 2 as well as 3, so we will get m value as minus 1 by 2 and p value as minus 5 by so, from the above equation, we can uh, confirm that. So, the slope is that is m is equals to minus 1 by 2 
and x intercepts at where c equals to minus phi by two. Let's try to solve another problem now. Find the equation of a straight line passing through the points four comma two and one comma three here. Solution. Let x one comma y one equals to four comma two and x two comma y two equals to one comma three here. So whenever the equation contains here more than two points or two points, so equation of the straight line, equation of the straight line, which is given by y minus y one equals to y two minus y one divided by x two minus x one. Into x minus x one. We know that the value of x one, y one, x two, y two. We can substitute the, all the values in the given equation. Let me consider equation one. Now let's try to substitute the values and try to simplify the y minus. Two equals to y two here three minus two divided by one minus four into x minus four here y minus two. One divided by minus c, x minus four. So yeah, y minus two minus one by three, x minus four here. So three can be shifted other side. Y three into y minus two equals to minus. One into x minus four here. Three into y three y minus six equals to minus one x minus into minus plus here. Let's try to simplify further here. X minus four plus three y minus six. X plus three y minus ten equals to zero. Next problem: Find the equation of a straight line perpendicular to the line four x minus two y plus three equals to zero and passing through the points one comma two here. Solution: Given data. Four x minus two y plus three equals to zero, as well as passing through x comma y point is given by one comma two. Here I can see the so slope of the given line, which is given by minus four comma minus two, which is The slope of the perpendicular line is given by m equals to two. So where slope of the given line can be calculated by using the formula here. This is. From this equation, we can calculate the value. 
minus 4 divided by minus 2 which gives here 2 ones are 2 2 za minus minus sign will get cancelled here. So x1 comma y1 value which is 1 comma 2 and we know that the equation of the straight line which is given by equation of the straight line which is given by y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1 here. Now we can substitute the value of let me consider equation 1. Let's try to substitute the value of x1 as well as y1 in the equation of the straight line y minus 2 equals to 2 into x minus 1 y minus 2 equals to 2 into x 2x 2 into 1 2 so here after simplification 2x minus 2 minus 2 will get cancelled so 2x minus y equals to 0 so this is our final equation of a straight line therefore equation of the straight line is 2x minus y equals to c Let's try to find out the next problem here. Find the acute angle between the lines 7x minus 4y equals to 0 and 3x minus 11y plus y equals to 0 here. Given data. So, two equations were given in the question itself 7x minus 4y equals to 0 as well as let me consider equation 1 3x minus 11y plus 5 equals to 0 equation 2. So, here we need to be find out the acute angle between the two lines here. So, theta value we need to be find out here. So from equation 1, 7x minus 4y equals to 0. So from this we can find out the value of m1 here which is minus 7 divided by minus 4. So similarly from equation 2 3x minus 11y plus 5 equals to 0 where m2 equals to again minus 3 divided by minus 11 minus minus will get cancelled we will get here 3 by 11 here also minus minus will get cancelled we will get 7 by 4 so yeah, we know that angle between the two lines which is given by tan theta equals to m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus 
m1 into m2 now here we can substitute the value of m1 as well as m2 where m1 is 7 by 4 minus 3 by 11 divided by 1 plus 7 by 4 into 3 by 11 so here we can take a LCM 44 is the LCM so here 7 into 11 minus 3 into 4 whole divided by 1 plus 7 3s are 21 divided by 44 7 into 11 which gives 77 minus 12 divided by 44 whole divided by Again, here also we can take a LCM as a 44, 44 plus 20. 44, 45 will get cancelled. What remains here? 77 minus 12 divided by 44 plus 21, which gives you 65 divided by 65. 65, 65 will get cancelled. So remains 1 here. So we know that tan theta equals to 1 or I can say theta equals to tan inverse of 1 which is nothing but theta equals to 45 degrees.